hello everyone welcome to the cloud network channels in this video i am going to show you about how to install elastic search lost tags in kevin and ubuntu 18.30 which i am using so before installing here is the requirement for these installations you need to have a user with the root privileges and then it's a ubuntu which i am using for gbnm cpu processors too and the java jdk we need to have installed so the installation applied for the same for Linux Mint DPN, Ubuntu and everything. So let's begin with the first one is updating the OS. Okay. So let's type it and update it. And then uh, uh, the command. Oh, sorry. This one is so and there is no special command. So this after that will begin with the upgrading and reset. Okay. After upgrading we need to install the dependency and the java it and install it. so this is the command to add the respiratory in the java so once it's uh, get upgraded so we will install the that so now let's type that dependency after that again need to update the command press enter then we are going to install the java actually jdk is having 13 version but it supports java jdk 8 only so we will verify that one now you can see that has been installed so i am now installing elastic search here is there for installing elastic search i am going to the temporary directory folder then this is the latest version of elastic search you can go into the website of Elasticsearch then you can check the version 7.5.2 is the version which I am using here for this Elasticsearch and it's having 277 MB the size which is downloading download takes some time and then you need to uh, type this uh, dpk to extract the common installations then after that I will show you and, uh, Now that downloading has been completed, type the ls to check this the download file here. Download here is my file. So now we are using sudo to extract that file here. So after that, Elasticsearch configuration file. We need to edit the configuration file of Elasticsearch here by typing this command here. So after that, once we type, we need to change the network to localhost to um, localhost Ethernet. Like this, we need to be, or like this, we need to see localhost we need to assign. Okay. So let's start completed and opening the configuration file. This is the cluster one. We can change the cluster name also here. Nodes this is a node you can give and change to the node this is a pa data path where the uh, variables inside that one will be stored data and logs will be stored inside that one path and if you want to change you can change and then this is the network which i said the host name we need to change here so like i'm commenting and then give the ip address instead of ip address we need to give the local host or you can give the IP address also system IP address the port number which is you can see enable and this is a discover like how many nodes you want to add in here in here is the node 1 2 3 there you can add the nodes 3 nodes which are already been an event you can add here and then just press ctrl x and y to save that file after that we need to restart enable these services of elastic search starting and enabling so here i just it has been started enable and then we need to type the start the service enable completed started completed so we we'll check the status of the services by typing this command here so all those things command you can find go to my video in the description box there will be a link which will redirect to my website that is itcloudblogspot.net 
there you can find all completely uh, steps and command this is of the same method is here you can use any one that and to verify elastic search it's working or not just type this command and just press and enter so you, as you can see this is working elastic search which is the version you can see is showing the cluster name cluster id is showing here and the false version beta version you can see so let's confirm in the browser also this working or not and I should click on that one and type here local host semicolon 92 double c which is elastic search you can see the browser also is working a bit showing so let's begin with your as already shown you the IP in place of localhost you can give IP address also and then we need to install the key okay for that one same a path I have already been there just open that one and type paste that okay so the kibina size is 234 mb is there after that the same procedure is for this in unpacking that one then you need to open the configuration file so let's use that now that's downloaded completed let's type ls to see this kibana so let's type this sudo command and the version just copy paste and enter so it will be extracting here now we need to open the configuration file of in kibana after the installation so we need to locate the following line server host uh, just make a change local host instead of the anything is in this and then we need to change to server ip address or local host and then we need to give this local host ip address two things we need to show you uh, we need to change let me show that one what we need to change Open the configuration file here. Just here is the server localhost already. Localhost is there, which is fine here. Just remove that one, and then we don't need to remove others. Fine, but Elasticsearch host name uh, Elasticsearch.url we need to find, and uh, Elasticsearch the, uh, host I find it, but not the last is the username and the password you can see this is key and password password is there we can change also is there and uh, so, 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 is there which is okay so we don't find uh, it already is uh, it is there we don't need to do anything here it's completely fine actually it's not your it's a host file is there okay so let's close and save that file now we need to do this maximum capacity account we need to check so this is the correct number memory has been counted we need to enable the service of kibana here then we need to start the service of kibana here then we need to check the status of that one so we will just type it here after that in the browser we need to type the local host and then this port number ok so service is running fine here we will check in the browser here by local host here we need to give local host semi as you can see this kibana also is working fine with the user kibana and the password is pass which is for login purpose okay so now let's move to the log stack for that installation i am already into the temporary folder just copy this path and this is the same version for that one also let's try and let's try on my data explore on my own so this is the method is there and uh, for logging it will be here will be there okay okay later on we will show you all those things about that one so minimizing the one the terminal copying test it so for the downloading is 159 mb the size is there so till then downloads will check this kibana here about that oh. 
this is the dashboard actually and for this message rpm lock metric security you can add and let's see collapse here is a management dashboard all the services are there utilizes there dev tools dev management is all those things okay so let's move to this console dashboard if i go directly here i will get dashboard okay now check how much the time it will take some time so let's type ls here this is a first stack has completed so the same method for unpackaging this was stack also after that we need to open the configuration file this is one is there and this changing the http dot uh, host line to 120 dot something like you can check so this will start the services here and then um, so we will need to enable start start the same method for the elastic search given on is there now the same method to apply for this one also as you can see this has already created the startup here let's just copy and paste re enable and there we go that's uh, sorry we need to just type start the service here enabling then we need to just check the status of this one so that's fine i think it's working that's fine is working running let's copy this port and we'll open the local host s601 oh, that's for 5601 for that one okay this is working kibana so inside that one we will see the lost stack also okay we'll show you about kibana also it's working let's see so that show is lost stack also is working there is no browser access for that one so this file be bit is there if you want to install you can just follow this uh, procedure you can go ahead and this is your officially website for this elastic search and this is a elastic search where which i have told you already the configuration file and default java is a set of instances is there so if you have any problem you can comment below to my video thanks for watching my video please subscribe to cloud Network channel share my channel videos to your friends and relatives